Formal U.S. Trade Representative for Textiles, Gail Strickler, recently gave a lecture at UD on how fashion is made possible through global trade. As lead negotiator in trade agreements, as well as participating in basically the whole textile and apparel um, discussion that went on at the White House during the Obama years, it has a huge role as a huge provider of labor and being used as a tool for development. I mean, basically, when you look at it from a trade perspective, the opportunities for trade as development are paramount in the textile sector. When it came to things like AGOA or the Haiti Hope and Help or some of the other preference programs where we offer opportunities to least developed countries, the textile and apparel sector provides a huge opportunity. You have two completely disparate factions. You have the domestic textile industry and then you have the apparel industry which since 97 percent of our apparel is imported is mostly made up of an importer community and brands and retailers. The United States has been involved in many trade agreements over the years, one of them being the Trans-Pacific Partnership or the TPP for short. Given the recent presidential election, many are wondering how this is going to affect global trade in the future, including sectors like textile and apparel. In TPP, um, we managed to find a way to get both of both sides to support the agreement. We had, you know, real good sustainable development goals within TPP. We had labor requirements. We were moving towards more. Um, more sustainable goals in terms of sourcing and everything else and creating regional agreements and regional supply chains. The TPP and AGOA aren't the only trade agreements that the United States is involved in. NAFTA is extremely good for the U.S. textile industry. If we looked in NAFTA and CAFTA together, more than 70 percent of yarns and textiles made in the U.S. wind up in either Mexico, pretty much, or Central America to be made into apparel to come back into the United States. So what does UD's fashion program look like to an industry professional? One of the things that I love about Delaware is you have fashion marketing and fashion design but it's in a structure that has a lot of input from other areas. And as a result, it seems like there's a much better um, comprehension of the role of the apparel industry as opposed to just fashion design. The students here seem to have a sense of sustainability. They have a, an idea of really what supply chains mean, logistics, um, carbon footprint, all of those things. I hope that students who see interest in any or all of those areas can find their way to create the opportunities for them to use their education. Reporting to you for 49 News, I'm Mallory Metzner.